guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to connect your node.js application with mongodb using mongoose so let's start at first open your vs code and open the folder where you want to create your application in vs code i will go to open folder option and select my folder so i will select this demo folder you can select any other folder now create another folder inside this demo folder. I will give the name as server. Now open the terminal. Navigate to the server folder. So this server folder will contain the Node.js application. So at first we have to initialize the Node.js application with npm init y command. Now we have to install the required packages of mongoose as well as express.js. So npm install express mongoose so express.js is nothing but a framework of node.js built on top of node.js it will help us create web applications and it supports request handling and mongoose will help us to connect the node.js with the mongodb using schema so how we will see it later as you can see express.js and mongoose is installed open this server folder inside that go to package.json and as you can see we have uh, our name server and here the main starts from index.js so we will have to create a folder or file named index.js and from this index.js we will start writing our code to make the application you can check the installation of express and mongoose from the package.json file as you can see the dependencies section contains express and mongoose with the version beside it now let's require the packages of mongoose and express at first i will require the package of express const express equals to require then I will require the package of mongoose. So we have required both the packages. Now I will initialize my express application. So const app the express function. So this function will initialize our express application. So basically we are running our express application built on top of node.js. Now we will connect our node.js with the mongodb database using mongoose.connect so mongoose.connect will connect the node.js application with the mongodb database but how we will connect for that we have to go to our mongodb server and click on this three dots to copy the connection string so we have copied the connection string and i will paste the connection string here let's save it now mongodb contains a number of databases and each database contains collections and each collections contains a number of documents so inside the mongodb compass we have to first create a mongodb database for that i will go to my mongodb compass and here i will click on the plus sign beside databases and i will give the database name i will give the name as crud and first i will create my first collection inside this database which i will give as test click on create database as you can see my crud database is created so this database i have to give so beside this slash i have to give the database name which is crud okay let's save it now to start our express application we have to listen it on a particular port so i will give app dot listen and the port number I will give 3001. You can give any other port number also. And then I will output on the console a particular message. So the message I will give server is running. Let's save it. Now to run this application, I will use NodeMon. For nodemon i will install it npm install nodemon so why i am using nodemon is it will automatically restart the application whenever we will save this application so we will not have to start it again and again so 
after this node mod gets installed what i will do is i will type this particular line in package.json which is node mon index.js so each time i will save this application it will automatically restart the index.js and the application will reflect the changes automatically let's run this application using npm start As you can see, app crashed, cannot find module, so it can't find the index.js module. So what is the problem? I have created this index.js file outside the server folder, so I have to include the index.js file inside the server, mm -hmm. otherwise it will not be able to find this. Now let's see it's automatically restarting. Now server is running, that means the MongoDB database is connected with this Node.js application. Now what I will do is, I will create a collection inside this particular database crud and I will insert one document inside it. Now I will use the Mongo schema to create a new schema. New mongoose dot schema and inside it I will define the schema of the document which I want. So I want there to be a name and the age so name will be of type string and then i want age of type number so these two parameters i want inside my document now i will save this mongo schema in the variable user schema using this schema i will make the mongoose model So const model equals to mongoose dot model function I will use and inside this I will give the name of the collection which I want. So I have the database already created which whose name is crud and inside this database I can have number of collections. So I will give the name of my first collection as test. See, I already have one collection named test inside my CRUD database. But what this mongoose.model function will do, it will create a new database with S added to it. So if I give test here, so it will create a collection named tests. And this collection will have the schema, which I have already defined and it's stored in this variable user schema. So I will give the user schema variable beside it as parameter. Now we will see whether this test collection is created inside the database or not. So I will go to my database. I will just refresh it and see a new collection named tests is created inside this database crud. Why tests is created because it always add s at the end of the name which I will give as the name of the collection. Currently the tests collection inside the crud database contains zero documents as you can see it contains zero documents. So what I will do is I will insert the first document inside this database from the Node.js application. So let's go to my VS code. I will use new model since model already contains the model of the collection. So I will use new model and then inside it I will give the name as Alex and the age as 40. Since name has type strings so Alex will be within double quotes and age is of type number so it will not be within double quotes and I will store it inside this variable emp. Now to store it inside the database I have to use the function save. So emp dot save I will use. Let's see the database. Let's refresh it. As you can see my first document is inserted from my Node.js application to this MongoDB database and it's showing the name as Alex and age as 40. So my insertion operation is successful. So I have successfully connected my Node.js application or Express.js application built on top of Node.js with this MongoDB database using Mongoose. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day.